light is fundamental to our perception and experience of spaces, but it's still quite a magical and mysterious thing to deal with. Unfortunately, lighting is not uh, in people's mind and that they really take it for granted. Light is a very important thing and the whole social research behind it, I find it very interesting. Yeah, I think it's just, it's a kind of magical, a magical kind of substance and it affects not only kind of emotions and sort of ambiences and perception of space, but also, you know, the physiological effects of it. People need to sort of actually experience different qualities of light in a particular space to understand kind of what the effect is. The lighting here is very, very functional and is perceived as infrastructure. That means that people don't think it could ever be changed. They just recognize it when it fails. So it's very, very difficult for us as social researchers to enter a dialogue on lighting because you have to make it apparent before you can start talking about it, which is what we're trying to do when we switch off lighting in the buildings and put up new lighting fixtures. The Configuring Light research program is interested in how light is made into the stuff of everyday life um, and built environments. Um, we understand how light is put together and assembled through um, the different kinds of professional practices and everyday practices and knowledge. There's a lot of cities now that are concerned about lighting, but more in the center of the city, in the main building, like. Um, touristic way of thinking, but it's more important to think um, in, in the, the place where the people really live. So we can show them with uh, some uh, uh, mock-ups, because it's a uh, light is um, only a question of, of feelings. But it's very, very hard to put these emotions and feelings and perceptions of this lighting new lighting in relation to the larger environment into words and work with that as social researcher or as a designer. How can we move lighting from this concept that it's just about illumination and more into the other kind of amping creation and kind of making people feel good and kind of enjoying their spaces, their life. But at the same time, also that they feel secure and safe and, and that they can see where they're going. Since like, like 50 years ago, light is, is about it's for cars, 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 and we are trying to reverse this, ten, this, uh, this way to think. So more for uh, cy cyclists and pedestrians and people really are, are in the street, not in, the, in, the, in a car with light. It's a quite open space which, with a very strong sense of community. People want to improve the site and accentuate it and make the most of what they value in it. And lighting can play a strong role there. Every time any of the designers have talked to anyone, there's this kind of double sense of we want to make the most of this space and make it very attractive, but then we're worried about who's going to come in. It's an incredibly complex space with many overlapping uh, uses of the space, different resident needs. There's two main sites and very different sorts of people, different buildings, different light materials in both those spaces. So some of the complexity is to try to think through uh, the relationship between all those different spaces and also deal with or design for all those different users in the space. My understanding from what the lighting I see across the estate is that it has a very utilitarian role, um, a very sort of one-dimensional role, uh, and um, one would hope that lighting has a, a very major role in helping to create these spaces and, and help to create a sense of space for you know the people to have a sense of ownership. Uh, and um, one would hope that lighting can actually have a role to encourage people to come out and enjoy them, themselves amongst their families, amongst their neighbours in the outdoor spaces. It's made us think differently about light in terms of 
how it might make a space, so how it might help to create a sense of place. So we'd never thought about lighting in that way before.